Hello Knitters, I'm Mary Annarella of Lyrical Knits and this is just a quick tutorial for the Mystery Knit Along Who You Gonna Shawl and a particular stitch that is called the Knit One Elongated. And the instructions tell you to knit a stitch wrapping the yarn around the needle twice and pulling it through. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. So I just, I just have a swatch here. This is not my actual work in progress. So to knit a stitch, you know, you just go through and draw through one loop, right? We got this, but the knit one elongated to wrap it or wrap the yarn around the needle twice when you knit it. So you insert your right hand needle as if to knit the stitch. And instead of just pulling one loop through, you're going to wind the yarn around there an extra time and pull it through. Do you see how you get basically two loops on there now? So. Let me show you again. Insert your needle as if to knit, wrap the yarn around twice and pull it through. All you're really doing is just making a bigger knit stitch by having almost twice as much yarn here because there are two loops. So one more time, insert your right needle through the next stitch as if to knit it, only wrap the yarn around the needle twice and pull that through. Ta-da! Easy peasy. And we're doing this because we have to elongate the stitch and pull it, slip it for the next several rows. So I'll turn my work to the wrong side. And can you see where my elongated stitches are because I've got basically two loops there. So there's one, there's one, and there's the other one. Now for this first part of the shawl, those not quite wavy lines, it's kind of like a, a section that's dedicated to Peter Vinkman. All right, so to slip it, it says to slip this elongated stitch like these two loops as though it were one stitch. So let's see, um, we have to slip it with the yarn forward. So I'll pull it forward here and just slip the whole thing purlwise like that. Just no big whoop. I'll knit to the next one. Oop, there it is. Bring my yarn to the front. Oops, not for the camera. Bring my yarn to the front, get it out of the camera's way. You're not going to slip it and try to have two loops on there. Just pull the whole thing out. And that elongates this stitch right here. And it means that the fabric won't pucker or pull much when we do work it, a, um, knit it a few rows later. So here, my yarn forward, I'll push it out of the way so you can see through the camera and slip just like that. And that's all for right now. We'll see you for the next tutorial.